on the scale of having a feeding tube versus the maintenance or the pain, the having it is way worth it for me. Good morning guys. I think I'm missing a little bit of that Florida mornings of sitting out in the, although, although I just shoveled snow, it is kind of warm. Let, let's see what temperature it is. It's 42 degrees, that's not too bad. And I think Ollie gets confused when there's snow on the ground and it's warm out because look. You just sit in the snow and just like, Soak in the sun. He's hilarious. So I've seen him lay down in it too. Funny, funny dude. Today's Thursday and that means that Thursdays are often the day that I try to do the most amount of work on getting my sermon done and getting ready for church this weekend. And so I'm gonna run out for a little bit, probably go to a coffee shop. I've gotta run a couple of errands this afternoon. Mary's doing her best and stuff. I've got a meeting tonight, so it's a busy day, and because of that, I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor for our vlog. It's sponsored by Home Chef. You guys know we love partnering with Home Chef. It's a meal kit delivery service, weekly variety, simple steps, familiar favorites. Mary and I get it every other week, and that's one of the cool things is you can schedule out. You don't have to sign up and get it every week. You can sign up, get it, and then put it on pause. You can schedule when you have a busy week. And that's how Mary and I use it is it's a convenience to get all the ingredients and recipes ready to go on weeks where things are crazy or just like doing it every other week. It's we know that there's kind of a reprieve of meals coming, and so they're actually hooking you guys up with a, a new deal where they're giving $80 off your first four boxes. So that's $20 off each week that you order. And the cool thing with that promo code, you can use the pro code Mary and Peter 80 to get that deal and use a link in our description. But the cool thing with that is you don't have to get it in four consecutive weeks. You could get one week and then put it on pause for a while. You could do it, schedule it for once a month or every other week. And it just can be that convenience when you know life is gonna be crazy. And so thanks Home Chef for partnering up with us on today's vlog. So the meals we got this week are garlic thyme roasted chicken, steak with sauce Robert. What? Who's Robert? We got chicken mole tacos. I don't even know what that is. I, I opened the box and said chicken mole tacos. And Mary's like, I think it's mole. But I think today we're gonna to make for lunch the Baja shrimp bowl. Delicious. Uh, yum. Good morning, you guys. Ah, uh, yes, please. Peter's putting the finishing touches. And, uh -huh. what is it? Oh, tortillas. Multicolor. Look at that. Don't you feel so fancy? Yeah. I feel like Nacho Libre. I'm really excited about I this. I feel like we're back on vacation eating some like tropical yeah. uh, dinner. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Two thumbs up. Mm-hmm.
Peter's home and he's actually gonna take the sheet of hairiness outside and shake it outside. I don't know if there are any birds out there right now, but if they want some fluffy stuff for their nest, I got their back. Yay, I'm so glad I got to groom him. His hair was so long. Sorry, battery died. Now he's a nice groomed poodle. I didn't even finish, but I'm gonna be done for now. Sometimes you just gotta call it a day. All right, <clears throat> Peter and I look all here outside. How, do you want to tell them how your time out was? It was good. Thanks I had two that. cups of coffee. Oh, did you? And I got, I have a meeting this evening, so I was getting our agenda for the meeting lined up and just notes for it. And then I worked on my sermon, made some good progress. It was good. I just put that sheet away. We keep that sheet that I use for haircutting on the basement stairs. And I saw the plunger. <clears throat> We've never used that. Thankfully, we haven't had to. Uh, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> we, um... <laughs> I got this call from this guy uh, with the organization that we support a missionary through. And he was the sweetest thing. He, he said this to me. He's like, I'm on my way out. So I just volunteer to, oh. to call people and thank them for their support. And That's so sweet. <laughs> he was so sweet. So he was asking you about how to find the fry life? Oh, yeah, yeah, Peter yeah. Peter texted me. Oh, guess what? He saw my email address was the fry life. And he said, now what's the fry life? Oh, and uh, I so told him cool. about it. And he asked how he finds it. And it was it was sweet. That's so, so cool. That was cool. So shout out to our our viewers and our family across the world who are who are more experienced in life than we are, yeah. aka in the older years. Oh yeah. So That's shout awesome. Shout out to the people. Peter's at his meeting now. Ollie and I are just having a little snuggle. Look at the cuteness. Oh, I love me a freshly shorn sheep. I'm very, Peter and I are very confused by why my body is feeling so um, confusing, like weak, or I don't even know what it is, but all I can say is I'm really glad I was able to groom Ollie. And now I'm just gonna rest, I think, for the rest of the evening. I'm, unless I get a second wind or something, but I'm also really glad I'm meeting with my endocrinologist because I'm kind of wondering if this could be related to blood sugar stuff. My only guess at this point, if it's blood sugar related, is that if my blood sugar is going higher than it usually does, then as it's falling, Maybe even though so like today I checked it when I was like feeling really shaky and it was 107 and so maybe it had Just fallen I'm not sure I am really unsure about it, but I also think I need to switch out this uh, sensor this Dexcom sensor I think it's not working right because it's not I, it just hasn't been as accurate. It's typically super accurate. And it hasn't been off every time, but <clears throat> anyway. I also think Peter mentioned maybe trying um, hooking up to my feeding tube just to see if my body's just kind of needing more calories. He mentioned like maybe your body's just fighting harder right now. So another reason I'm really grateful for my feeding tube. It just takes you know, it's, it's there when I need it, and it's not a big deal when I don't need it. And I've been really grateful that the last several months, I've been able to maintain my weight on my own. Of course, I hook up sometimes. I know when I was on IVs, I was hooked up, and, you know, times when it's harder to get enough calories in. So, anyway... It's one of those things. It's there when I need it, and it's not a big deal to just keep it um, happy. I use it for medication as well. There it is. I have to keep it taped because I have, like, ugh, I don't even know. It basically, like, hurts on the inside, 
So my surgeon told me like you need to keep it taped so that it keeps Anyway, it's fine on the scale of having a feeding tube versus the maintenance or the pain the having it is way worth it for me I'd way rather just have it and deal with the like little annoyances because up until two years ago I could maintain my weight by myself like you know my body was good at maintaining weight it was just like not a big deal and then all of a sudden my body just went into like fight mode I guess and it was just like burning calories like crazy I dropped a ton of weight and it was just obvious that I needed help so anyway that's when I got the feeding tube not quite two years ago April will be two years so then since then the last two years uh, there have been times where I've needed it 24 7 at the beginning we used it pretty consistently to get my weight back up to like a more stable level and then uh, I was able to take a couple months break and then you know kind of like on and off when I need it, um, like I said, I do use it for medication almost daily. There's a liquid medication I put through it. And, you know, we obviously have to keep it flushed. I flush it every day and uh, change the gauze every day, twice a day usually, and keep it taped. So, pretty easy. Mine's a uh, real short J tube. And so, thankfully, I don't have to flush it every four hours. When I had the nasal J tube, had to be flushed every four hours. Obviously that equals no sleep or very little sleep in a row. Anyway, I'm really grateful that uh, for how everything worked out with my J-tube. The last um, actually couple of weeks, we did just change this feeding tube button. And I was hoping that was gonna help with the pain because inside there's been a pretty good amount of pain and uh, it didn't really help. Changing the feeding tube didn't really help. So I guess if it, if the pain continues, I'll probably talk to the surgeon's office again. But for now, I'm just keeping it gauze tape and put my feeding tube cream. I have a couple different things I can use. So just kind of like keeping it status quo. But anyway, random feeding tube update apparently. But I guess all of that to say, with feeling like this weird, weak feeling. That's the best way I can describe it. I'm gonna hook up to my feeding tube and I guess just see if that helps. We'll see. Even though my weight is still good. So I'm grateful that I've been able to uh, eat enough and my body's not, I don't know, whatever. It's working out. But I'll use the feeding tube and see what happens. have only one thing to say. The snuggle is real. The snuggle is real, my friends. Hey guys, I just got back from the church. Had a really good but long meeting this evening and so I think I'm a little worn out. I, Mary's upstairs doing her best. She's exhausted and I think she's a little frustrated with not feeling well and feeling weird. She's going to finish up doing her best and we're just probably going to end things here for the night. So I'm gonna say, as always, we will see you tomorrow. Good night. To end things, you get to watch Ollie finish his dinner. Good night guys, don't forget to eat your dinner.